95% of traders in Egypt were bombarding their advisors over WhatsApp to get stocks real-time information and take actions. Big Swan changed that. Back in 2017 or 2018, uh, I was at Microsoft at the time, and uh, conversational AI was just launched and become commercially available, which was a great hype. Everyone wants to use it. However, our clients in the Middle East region felt left behind because those technology was not supporting our culture and our languages, which made me wonder if we can build that here in the region and help those clients to fill in this gap. We started from the end, so we looked at what really customers' real problems had been solved or would be solved with. We looked at, for example, accuracy. This is a major concern for our clients, how an enterprise feels safe to leave AI to respond their clients. Imagine a bank doing this. We focused mainly in the first thing on accuracy, how we can measure it to reflect the reality, how we can show clients what will happen before launching so they have real confidence and ability to adopt and adapt and change and do things well and then they can launch with confidence. So this is one of the major things that we help growth clients take the decision and risk to go and get the eye facing their clients. Back in 2020, at that time we were not heavily funded. We were depending mainly on our sales revenues and due to the pandemic, like majority of our clients had either declined their revenues or stopped their operations, where they stopped working with us. And that impacted more than 70% of our revenues. So we sold every asset that we own. The team were really, really amazing. So they decided to work with either partial salaries or no salaries at all, because they believe in our vision. They believe that we can do something together. And yeah, we passed that. I'd say a delegation. It's very hard really to let go, especially when you have a startup that you witness days where the entire team sitting in a room, you're on top of everything, you know everything. And then all of a sudden, when you're growing, you start to lose things. And you still want to gain to be on top of every game that's happening, which made my life horrible. For example, the first uh, e-commerce startup that we helped it to be live making sales 24 seven before they do their application just with our AI agent. Second part, when I have seen the reports of one of our clients who were actually managing 95% of the Egyptian stock market of how nearly entire the traders depending completely on our AI agent day and night on getting information and taking actions on the stock market, that was really shocking to me. It made me really feel that we're making impact and growing our communities and not just growing our matrices and gross KPIs. I really hope people would say that DX1 is the company that empowered the region youth to build a technology that people loved and used globally. The company that set an example for every young person on the region that they can do wonders and they can lead the world with their dreams.